good morning. We are asking the experts on this beautiful day in Orlando. What a great sunny day. Hey, the motorcycles are still here, so please look both ways when you're pulling out, when you're changing lanes. That can really be dangerous, so do it ever so gingerly. Sometimes those bikes don't show up in your rearview mirror. This is the Ask the Expert Series 855 297 96 96 855 297 96 96 Andre Bustamante show that's right brought to you by guaranteedsale.com best orlando mls search.com fidelity national title Andre Bustamante 888 785 0440 Andre Bustamante.com that's with a y and boy we had a great show the other day on a different network And we were talking about your guide to wealth. And I started getting phone calls. I started getting my neighbors talking to me saying, he made it sound so simple. And I said, well, it really is. And it's taking and going through and looking at your house as an asset. But America had this tradition of, Andre, I'd I'd own my home, and I had my family, and I get ready to sell it, and I just said, well, good, I'll have this much to pay down on it, and I'll just take the proceeds from the old house. And you you gave such a dissertation on the other show that we do this week, 15 Minutes of Andre. I mean, he was preaching from the towers of, no, don't do it that way. Get wealth for the rest of your life. Social Security is not going to cut it. But what if you were collecting rent on one, two, three, four homes? And what if you were flipping some homes along the way? You don't have to go to a seminar and pay somebody $800 to learn how to flip a house. And ain't that big a deal if you listen to Andre Bustamante and his company is holding your hand all the way through the deal. What's going on? Uh, living the dream, my friend. Living the dream. Got Just that. here. Um, glad glad to be here um, hosting the show again. And uh, busy week this week. I'm, I'm having a blast with you, <laughs> Rob, everywhere. during the week. It, it's a We're blast. so much fun. We're kind of setting another part of the state on fire, so to speak. Yep. Andre is making a very big splash north of here. And it's so cool because the Andre Bustamante, wherever you live within the sound of News 96.5, 100,000 watts of energy. Andre Bustamante has sold a house there. I guarantee you, you've sold more than one house there. Oh, yeah. Wherever yeah. it is. You should see all the emails I'm getting. Like, wait, you, are you selling real estate up here, too? If, if you hear me on the airwaves, we, we're we selling real estate in your backyard. So, again, it, it's it's all about our big motto, our big why, and it's to positively impact people's lives. And that's the only reason we continue to expand our company, obviously, with the great help of Rob. Um, so, folks, we're here for the next hour live. Any questions you have, whether it be about building wealth or real estate, like we've been you know, very, very mm. popularly talking about for the past couple of weeks, whether it be about selling, uh, the, the spring market is here upon upon us and things are getting better. I mean, you know, properties are starting to mm-hmm. move. It's a phenomenal time for buyers to, to, to make that move and, um, and, and move into, into home ownership, uh, move up in, into their dream house mm-hmm. or downsize like a lot of our clients are doing. Uh, so any questions you have, whether it be about buying, selling, investing, um, you know, refinancing, obtaining a mortgage, whatever it is, we'll, we'll definitely try and point you in the right direction. One of the things that I kept thinking about in preparing for today's show, I love it when we get to spend time together because it's just electricity. But one of the things I thought of was coulda, shoulda, woulda. If somebody looks back five years from now and the interest rates are 8 or 9% as this government backs out of funding everything again yep. and we have to make things right in this country and get the economy to where it's self-supporting and the government's not putting billions into it, interest rates have got to go up. They will go up. So why not get with Andre and buy a home now and lock in for the next 30 years that interest rate of today is yours. They're not going to be able to change your interest rate once you get the mortgage. You but lock in your cost of right living. Now. So if you're looking at it as an owner occupant, it's it's a beautiful thing to do because you're locking in your cost of ownership of, of, of housing, right? Cost of housing for the next 30 years. So you're that's really folks, it's the only way to overcome inflation. If you realize, you know, if you look at how uh, actually owning a home and paying the mortgage on it and renting, rentals are the only things that 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 go up every year. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. Whereas your house, your interest rate, it's fixed for 30 years, so you're, you're good. You're, you're ironclad in there, and pretty soon you work it to where you get the equity, you, you get rid of that PMI, mm-hmm. and as you go along, you are paying down 
the cost of the house, you're paying off the mortgage, so you're getting more and more equity in there. But you got to do it now because, I don't know, we keep saying that soon the interest rates are going to rise, but they've got to pretty soon. They've they got will. to in the next year And, or two and you years. hit it right on it. As soon as, soon as the government starts pout, you know, putting all this money uh, in, into the bonds market and all that, uh, they're, the, the interest rates will go up. So mm-hmm. whether it be in you know three weeks, three months, six months, whatever it is, just don't even have to worry about that. You can't control that, so don't focus on that. Uh, focus on what you can do, and what you can mm-hmm. do is take advantage of the absolute phenomenal market that we have right now. Prices are low. There's enough inventory, um, and interest rates are low. I mean, what else can you ask for? It's perfect. You, you've got a home right now. You've been wanting to get all the new stuff. You've been wanting to get the new countertops. Mm-hmm. You've been wanting to get the new garden tub. You've been wanting to get all the latest in appliances because, as you heard on the Protect show this morning, if you've got to replace the new water heaters, it's going to cost you a fortune. Get into a home now that has all that new stuff, and you're gonna you're not going to have to worry about that. Let somebody else worry about that in the old house. But you got to lock it in now. Somebody was saying the other day on the news that Janet is saying maybe June is when the government's going to pull back the money that they've been putting out, the billions of dollars, they're going to slowly start pulling it out. That means interest rates are going to rise. Not trying to alarm anybody, just giving you some good advice. If you could buy a uh, if you could buy a, a bag full of groceries today for $20, and in six months that same bag would be $70, you said, I could have, I should have, I would have. Yeah. And you should have done it now. And now's the time to get out there and with now the help just, of So look at it, right? So most people think, since we're, we're on the topic of rates, most people think, well, rates only impact buyers. I'm a homeowner. I've been living here for you know 20 years. My mm-hmm. wife and I aren't going anywhere for at least two to three years. Okay. I, <laughs> I appreciate that. Now, nice listen to, to what you just said again. We're not going anywhere for the next two to three years. Mm-hmm. The rate interest rate, it's, if they go up, only impact buyers. Who's going to buy your house? It's a buyer. Right, mm-hmm. of course. That's duh. And what do they buy? <laughs> they don't buy. Thing. They don't buy a, a, the the price. They buy a monthly payment, unless they're paying cash. Exactly. You know, half the market pays cash. Good for them. But let's talk about the market that is financing. They buy monthly payment. So if, if someone says, "Honey, we have twelve hundred or fifteen hundred or two thousand, whatever that number is, to spend on on our monthly mortgage," if rates go up. Now, all of a sudden, they can't buy your house anymore. They yeah. have to buy a little bit less of a house, which means they'll still fall in love with your house. Just the offer you're going to end up getting is a lot lower. Yeah, so you got to think about this as, again, I, I keep going back to this with, with Andre when we're talking and with RP Funding when I'm on the air with him, that I know you fell in love with your house. But as Andre taught me when we met five years ago, when it comes to the buying or the selling, it is a product. It's a product. It is totally a product. It's a business, folks, and it has to be handled as such. Mm-hmm. You want to call Andre? You got a question for him right now about homes, hot areas in town. What do his listings look like? What is your house worth today more than it was three or four years ago? You may have equity and not even know it. Mm-hmm. 855-297-9696. 855-297-9696. Text us at 21232-21232. Andre, somebody after hearing us the other day asked me, he said, you guys kind of talked a little disparagingly almost about some of these national sites to tell you what your home's worth. Yeah. One of those giant ones. And I said, that's because Andre and a lot of our experts in Orlando have come up with local systems that are local. I can tell you exactly. And these aren't systems that are based on phishing scams. Yeah. It, it's, it's a hell of a lot better than, than the, than the national level. And then on top of that, so l- look at it from this point of view, right? So you're listening to the, to the show here on FM news, 96, five, we've been on the air here for four or five years. You realize if you go on our site and that's guaranteed sale.com, you get an instant free home evaluation in under, under 30 seconds, right? So guess what happens with that information? That's going to go right back to my office. You're going to get a friendly call from one of my team members to say, thank you for registering a guaranteed sale. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, how can we help you? We'd love to assist you with your buying or selling needs. That's it. If you go to Zillow, oh. that that's going to go somewhere else. You have no idea who is going to get that information. Whereas with us, you know it's coming right into Andre Bustamante and my team. Yeah. There are real estate companies, large and small, that will subscribe to Zillow and pay them yes. for leads. So all of a sudden you're getting phone calls at six o'clock, seven o'clock during dinner, and you know you're driving to work, whatever it is, whatever number that you have as a contact or email, and you're getting barrage from people from all over the country. Why not do it right here locally? 
the people that know the lay of the land. As I said in the music, man, you got to know the territory. Absolutely. So, you know, we definitely invite you to go onto the site, use guaranteedsale.com, get that free instant home evaluation in under 30 seconds, or give us a call at 888-785-0440. Uh, that's 888-785-0440. So whichever one you want, you can go online if you're techie or if you're a little bit more traditional, that's fine too. Give us a call. Let us know what your name is, what your property, where your property is located, the address, and we'll go ahead, go ahead and do the digging for you. Keep in mind, most cases we'll give you a range of what your house is worth because there's four things that determine value of a house, location, condition, marketing, and price. Mm-hmm. So without seeing your house, we can't really tell you what it's worth. And and you may have agents that will tell you, but again, they're, they're, they're blowing smoke. So Rob's going to take me to a break right now. When mm-hmm. we come back, we'll, we'll keep lighting the, uh, the airwaves on fire. All right. Very good. We're going to come back. Your calls. I've got five open lines at 855. You can access any line from 855-297-9696. Ninety six, ninety six, or text Andre two one two three two in the recipient box two one two three two. We'll be back. This is the Andre Bustamante Show. Hey, welcome back. Yeah, we have calls for Andre Bustamante. This is the Andre Bustamante Show brought to you by GuaranteedSale.com. Free home evaluations in under 30 seconds. The office is 888-785-0440. AndreBustamante.com. The show is also powered by BestOrlandoMLSSearch.com and Fidelity National title that's right very good we have two callers on the line we've got joan we got barry okay see here's the deal joan wants to sell a house barry wants to buy a house why don't we, we just, can just make this all right now conference call them up and let's just get it over with we'll close by five o'clock joan how can we help you darling well thank you for a <laughs> wonderful introduction and wishing you all a happy saint patty's day i do fit the bill of what andre's been describing and i'm within the listening ear of the radio and have a home that is ready to go on the market for a buyer. It is curbside ready, inside and out, and I'm trying to find a buyer, and after hearing Andre, I figure I found the lucky spot to get it done. Here's the deal. A, it's on leased land. B, it's a manufactured home, which is the top of the line called uh, Palm Harbor, and it is in a gated community. And it has a location, location in Ormond Beach. Uh, how soon can I expect my buyer? Got it. So you said it's a, you're leasing the land. It's a manufactured no, home. No, correction. It's on leased land. It's in a gated community, meaning uh, you none of, there's over 600 homes in here. And uh, Palm Harbor's at the top of the line, and that's what this is. It's got three uh, clubhouses, three pools. It's decked ready to go. And... It is in Ormond Beach with location and location in minutes to the Daytona Raceway, beaches, waterways, and so forth. Meaning the lease land, you get titles, you don't get deeds to the property, over 600 homes in here. Okay. So, I'll, I'll, uh, you know, to answer your question, how soon can you get a buyer? Um, we, we'd have to sit there and, and just do an absorption rate analysis in your community, figure out how fast uh, properties are selling. Um but again, it, so you can list and take on a home on leased land in a gated community in Ormond? Ormond is not a problem. We just took on a million-dollar house out there, and we deal with all sorts of price ranges. Um, well, the difference here, Andre, is that it's on a um, title, meaning you go through your driver's license. That's how manufactured homes are. It's can't. not the run-of-the-mill. Um, it's not a trailer that someone might identify you go through your driver's license to have manufactured homes. It's not considered real property. It's considered personal property. And I did pay cash, and I do have the titles, unlike real property where you have a deed. So my my license only allows me to sell real property, real estate. Now, what I can do is um, put you in contact with someone in Ormond or someone, you know, in the in the Central Florida region that can help you and that more or less shares the same philosophy, marketing philosophies that that we do. Um, but from I, I can only sell real property. 
so okay. the Ormond Beach. Can I get a name of who that party that you're saying is? Uh, I'd have to, I'd have to look at my Rolodex and just figure out you know based on on your location and and and, and the type of property we're talking about. Um, so go ahead and give Tim, our producer, your name and number, and then um, I'll have someone in my team follow up with you and try to get you that information. Okay. Okay, thank you, Joan, for the call, and I think that Andre will be able to give you somebody who specializes in selling manufactured homes on leased property. There's a lot of that in Florida. I mean, there's a ton of that. Um, although some of those developments now are starting to sell their lots to the people whose homes are on it, um, you know, because those the happy days are not there anymore sometimes in some of those, quote, smaller parks. Correct. Yeah. Like if it was a mobile home and it, and it was actual real property, yeah, we could sell yeah. that all day. My, my license just, you know, it does not allow me to sell. Mm -hmm. If it's a manufactured and it doesn't, you know, you don't actually own the land and you're, you know, you yeah. have to go through your driver's license. Oh. Um, but definitely appreciate the phone call, Joan. I, we got Barry up next. Yeah, Barry's on. Barry, what's up with you, bud? I have a bankruptcy slash foreclosure. Um, it's been three years and three years in April. Um, I don't have bad credit. I just have zero credit right now because of the bankruptcy and stuff like that. And I'm wondering, is there any way that I'm going to be able to purchase a home after April when the foreclosure is been, you know, three years old? So that I love your question, Barry, and I really appreciate you calling in today. Um, so, in term, it, it all depends how much money you have. Um, you could be a day out of bankruptcy, and, and are you referring to bankruptcy or foreclosure? Which one were you oh, in? Oh, I did a, a bankruptcy and a foreclosure. The foreclosure kind of went in with the bankruptcy. Okay, so you, if you know what I mean. We had a situation this probably within the past two weeks. Uh, spoke to my lender, you know, went through the underwriter and everything. You you could be a day out of bankruptcy and purchase a property as long as you're putting down twenty percent of or more. Well, I have about twenty to twenty five thousand dollars to put down. Looking for a house on Bay, and I you know, houses are really reasonable down there. Correct. So, I mean, as, lo as long as you have 20%, then, then you should be good to go. Um, and, of course, we'd have to look at the rest of your credit profile to take a, to, to figure out the decision. Why don't you give Tim, my producer, your name and number, and then we'll touch base the beginning of this week, and we'll get you in contact with one of our lenders. How does that sound? Sounds good. I uh, already gave my name and number and my email address. So Beautiful. We'll be all set there. So I'll give it to one of my team members, and I'll get them started on your case, okay? All right, Mr. Bustamani. Thank you very much. Thank you, Barry. Have a good day. All right. We're uh, counting down the seconds right now until we've got a break for news. So you can go ahead and call the show right now at 855-297-9696. That's the show number. If you want to call Andre anytime, it's 888-785-0440, andrebustamante.com. We'll be back. You go to Philadelphia, you got that statue of uh, Rocky, you come down here, you get in front of the Board of Realtors building, there's a statue of Andre Bustamante. Not really, but <laughs> there should be. Andre Bustamante, his name is synonymous with the real estate industry. He is setting it on its ear, and uh, like when he expands to a new area, that's when people in the market keep going, Andre, are you really up here? And that's when other realtors come up to me publicly and they go, is he really going to start selling up in this area? I said he already is. We're just not telling you about it, folks. We are on News 96.5. Andre Bustamante, always on the grow, always on the go. You can get a hold of him at 888. That's pretty easy to go. 888-785-0440. AndreBustamante.com. You got that guaranteed sale program going for you. That's right. And you've got uh, the free home evaluations in under 30 seconds. You got best Orlando MLS search.com and Fidelity National Title. We're taking your calls again right now on the air for Andre. 855 297 9696. 855 297 
96, 96. Everywhere you look around Orlando, Andre, it's like the it's like the downturn never happened. Everywhere you look on the 419, you go the 414, the 429. Everywhere, Sorrento, these houses are popping up like crazy. Growth everywhere. Um, it's crazy. Well, basically, because of what happened, because of the recession, uh, it's kind of like we were incubating for several years, mm-hmm. four, five, six years there, and all of a sudden, it's like they, they let you out of the out of the gate. Um, so there's definitely a lot of growth right now, um, and, and it, I'm happy. I, I've been living in Orlando now for 20-something years, and I love it. I, I love all that growth. Mm-hmm. The growth in downtown Orlando, uh, oh, east, east Coast, West Coast, out Apopka area, um, it, Okoe Winter Garden. You know, it, it's beautiful. I love it. Mm-hmm. And, and I don't want people to think just because we talk about some of the the great great homes and they see on your site the great aerials and all that stuff, mm-hmm. you will help anybody buy or sell a home. I mean, we can get down to a hundred thousand, one hundred and fifty thousand, pretty easy, and go all the way up. But it's amazing to me that. A lot of the homes I'm seeing now in your portfolio are all, all about lifestyle. Yeah. I mean, you've got the pool, the outdoor kitchen, maybe a tennis court, stuff like that, to where you're, you used to pay to go to a resort as a family or belong to a spa or a club. Now that's all at your house. Yeah, you have a lot all of the clubs that, you're doing, and that's where the market is more or less headed in that direction. And especially mm-hmm. with a lot of the new home uh, communities, they want to provide all these amenities. It's it's less square footage and more lifestyle. Um, of course, we all want a little bit of space, but you know, if they can provide the, the space where you have enough elbow room um, and you can entertain in your house and then you have amenities, it's mm-hmm. a perfect one-two combination. And the builders are obviously uh, taking advantage of that and, and buyers are willing to pay it and, and even pay a premium for that. So there are several communities. One thing I do want to say is not only do we sell resale properties, but we, we're also new home sales specialists. So mm-hmm. if anybody's in the market to, to buy a new house, uh, you know, please feel free to give us a call. One thing I will say is um, if you're buying a new home and you go straight to the builder, I've my, my wife and I do this stuff for fun. So we'll, we'll stop in like almost secret shop builders. We'll stop in there and we're, 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 we're buyers. And, and one mm-hmm. thing I've told my wife is we're always buying. So if, if a good opportunity comes up, mm-hmm. we're buying. Um, so we'll go into a builder's model and we'll look around and we have our buyer's hat on. But at the same time, I have like my my real estate experts glasses on and mm-hmm. and, and and my ears are tuned in to, to what's going on in, in the conversations and what's going mm-hmm. on in the room. And, um, you know, folks, when you go to a builder, they're trying to sell you that property. Yeah, when you work, yeah. when you're when you tell us, Andre and team, I'm looking to buy a new house. We work with all the builders. So I'm not just trying to sell you one house. I'm not trying to just sell you a Lennar or a Beezer or a DR Horton or a custom home builder or ICI or whatever. We're going to look at the absolute best option for you, and mm-hmm. we're going to present those options, and we're going to have you choose what you like best. So it doesn't cost you absolutely anything to work with us on, on the purchase, of, definitely on, on the purchase of a new home. Our, our comp- compensation comes directly from the builder. And then on top of that, if you have a pre-existing house that you want to sell, we can go ahead and t- uh, um, turn you in into our builder trade-up program where we'll sell your house for free. So it's, it's, a, mm-hmm. it's an awesome program. For, so for anybody out there that wants to upgrade, even downsize, you know, if, uh, if you're looking to, to downsize, that's completely fine. We'll get you hooked up with one of our agents. And then um, if you're selling a resale, buying a new house, whether you're going up or, or down, uh, we can go ahead and sell your house for free. It's an awesome mm-hmm. program. You can <laughs> save money. So it's a, it's a great way to, uh, you know, to make a move. All right. Very good. If you've got a question for Andre, 855 855- Two nine seven nine six nine six eight five five two nine seven nine six nine six. You could text us at two one two three two by way of opening up your smartphone, going to the message thing up where where it says contact or address, put two one two three two, and then uh, just go ahead and ask him the question. There are still people out there. I was talking to people this week. Your name popped up in the conversation, and um, they said, "Man, what goes on?" Because I keep having just like Sean Hannity's commercial for you. My realtor keeps saying, "Well, we're going to have an open house, or I've got somebody coming right over. Don't let you know. Don't don't let that, that listing expire with me. Sign up six more months with me, but we got to lower that price again." Why are people falling for that? They're <laughs> they're stuck doing things the traditional way, and that's the things that that's the way things were done in the '80s and the '90s and the early 2000s. Nowadays, folks, it, it, things are different. Um, 
Things are completely different. And now d- that doesn't mean that you shouldn't reposition the price of your home. I'm not. Gonna, mm-hmm. I'm not going to go on here and say that we don't make you know price reductions because we we do. Um, at the end of the day, that the house is worth what a buyer is willing to pay. And sometimes, you, no matter what you tell the, you, you know, your sellers, they want to start up really, really high because they are not emotionally detached from the process. Right. The process. It, the process. It's funny. The process would be so much easier if they would listen to us. It, 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 if they would get emotionally detached, listen to what we're saying, and just price it and let the buyers dictate what it's going to sell for, it would actually end up selling for more than if they overprice it and then just drop, drop, mm-hmm. drop. But you know, the, the reality is most agents, most, um, most real estate agents are going to do what I call the three P's, right? They're going to put, put your, your sign in the front yard, they're going to put it in the MLS, and they're going to sit back and pray that another agent actually mm-hmm. sells the house. That system, that marketing approach does not work. You want an agent that has a proactive system of attracting buyers, that has a results-oriented mm-hmm. uh, program, one that you could see. You know, if, if well, look, honey, if history w- were were to repeat itself again, you know, this is the type of outcome that we should have. If an agent doesn't have references, if they don't have you know a client list of a couple hundred houses that they sold, then it's probably not the right agent. And mm-hmm. these houses should be in recent years, not over the span of 20 or 30 year career. You know, the other thing I look at too, is there's, there's so many people that got their real estate license back when the boom, the first boom, yeah. when everybody, you could fog a mirror, get a house. Yep. Well, everybody was either becoming a mortgage broker or, or they're becoming a realtor mm-hmm. or a real estate agent, actually. And they were, they were doing it part time, you know, oh, maybe I'll sell a house and I'll make $8,000, but they weren't full time. Let's get it done. Early morning, late at night, like you guys. Let me give you a perfect example, Rob. I was actually thinking about this this week. So, uh, as you know, probably two or three months ago, I upgraded my wife's car. She deserves the world and more. Um, So, you know, she's given me three beautiful kids. Baby, if you're listening, I love you. Uh, Thank you for everything you do for for me and my family uh, and our family. Um, so I up- upgraded her car. We have three kids and then we ha- we needed more, more space yeah. and the l- little tiny automobile she had just wouldn't cut it with three kids. So I got her a new car and I, and when I, and I think I'm a pretty savvy business guy. So I took it, I, when we bought the car, the guy said, do you have a trade in? And I said, no, because if you say you have a trade in, they're just going to give like, they're going to oh, lowball yeah. you. There you go. But think of it this way, right? So I said, I- I'm a real estate expert. I do the, I do real estate full time. And um, I, I said to myself, I can go ahead and sell this car, you know, for more money quicker on my own. Okay. It's a red flag because that's not what I do for a living. <laughs> it's probably been, I don't know, four or five months. I haven't been able to sell the darn thing. And it's because it's not what I do. Every day I leave mm-hmm. the house, I come home, home from work, and that car is still sitting there. It's still sitting there because it's not my full-time job. I've probably yeah. dedicated like this much time, you know, five, ten percent of my time to try to do something with the car. The reality is I don't have a proven system. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm, I'm trying to advertise in a Chrysler, right? So you you, you see the, the correlation there? Mm-hmm. I, I sound like a for sale by owner. Yeah. yeah. And the reality is that car, when I do sell it, I got a couple bites on it this this week. When I do sell it, it's probably going to end up selling maybe five hundred to a thousand dollars less than had I given it to the to the dealer and just completely traded it in, let a professional handle it and be over and done with. But because I wanted to, you know, one of these do it yourself kind of <laughs> attitudes, it didn't work. So to anyone that's listening to this show, folks, no matter what it is, whether you're selling a car whether you're selling a house, whether you're trying to write up a will, whether whatever it is that you're doing, just let a professional do it. Chances are you may have to pay a little bit more. Maybe not. Maybe, you know, you, you get what you pay for. There you go. That's truly right. And as we say on the pool show, buy the best and only cry once. Exactly. All right. <laughs> we're we're going to take a break from the Andre Bustamante show. We are taking your calls. Lightning rounds coming up. I've got four open lines. You want to be using them. This is free information, folks. 855-297-9696. Talk to the man that Sean Hannity talks about. 855-297-9696. Andre Bustamante will be right back. Okay, it is the Andre Bustamante Show. We still have time to take a phone call or two and even a text. 
If you want to text us at 21232, real easy to remember, 212-32-21232. Real easy. Tim saying, what? What did he say? What? 21, 30, 23. I've only heard it fight. one way my whole life. That's Rob, right. 21232. You know. I know. I was trying to mix it up a little bit. You know, like. You got to have fun on the job, man. Write down 21, write down 23, write down 2, or 21232. I like that. Anyway, if you text that, a lot of people still aren't getting that. I get stopped on the street all the time. They go, I don't understand. There's, there's no phone number there. I said, it doesn't have to be a phone number. It's, it's a, text a computer. Message. And it's a very expensive computer, as people are finding out. Eight five, not from not to you, but for us to own it. 855-297-9696 is the phone number. And, Andre, we're down to about five minutes, bud. So if somebody is thinking about putting their house on the market and they're thinking about how to choose a realtor. It's a great question. There you go. Give them a, give them a couple of uh, pieces of advice. One, um, first and foremost, just become e- emotionally detached from your home. Mm-hmm. Look at your house as an asset. Look at it as a product. Once you do that, I think the other decisions will be a lot easier. And since you became emotionally detached, it's a lot easier to tell your wife or your husband's friend uh, that's also a realtor on the side, as I am a used car sales guy on the side with my own car. I I will say it again. (laughs) Used car salesman on the side with my own car. I I suck at selling cars. Um, So my wife, next time, next car we buy, she probably won't let me try and sell it on the side. Um, So... You want to uh, you want to hire the best agent. Don't hire friends. Um, so emotionally detached. Uh, don't hire a friend or a relative to sell your house. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to um, interview a couple of agents uh, and don't be afraid to come into their office. Most people are stuck doing things the traditional way. Well, come out to my house. My wife and I are going to be here after work, folks. Do you go out to your CPA's office during work hours? <laughs> yep. Do you go to your attorney's office during work hours? Yep. Do you go to your dentist, your doctors, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, mm-hmm. during work hours? Yes. You want to see the team that, that's working there. So don't be afraid and don't think that you're lowering your standards um, by going to your agent's office. You're actually taking a proactive approach to doing things the right way. Mm-hmm. Got a, a text here, and I love this one. I don't think you and I have ever tackled this one on the air. Mm-mm. How do you recommend selling a house when you have a renter inside of it at the time? So here's what I would do. I'd have a I'd have a meeting with the tenant, and I'd let them know. Um, of course, the the lease has to be almost up, or they have to be in a month to month situation in order to entertain the sale. But I would probably offer them a bonus if the property sells within thirty days or sixty or ninety days. So mm-hmm. offer the, the the tenant a bonus because I can't tell you the amount of times, Rob, we've tried to sell houses, and I, I feel like a broken record every time I have this conversation with an owner comes to my office. We mm-hmm. meet. Oh, and there's a tenant in place. Ooh, okay. Well, you realize there's no motivation whatsoever for them to make themselves available to those showings. Uh, yeah. They're not going to be the nicest people. All the blinds are going to be dark, and the house is going to be hideous when, when, when the buyers come to see it. The house will never sell. So, but now, on the contrary, if you incentivize the tenant and you put a little bit of a carrot out there, whether it be 1000 bucks. 1500 bucks. Mm-hmm. Well, it could be something fun. It could be a little cruise for the wife and the husband to, to leave and to kind of, you know, ease the the, the transition of moving yeah. to one house to the next. Uh, just throw something cool out there and just tell them, hey, listen, I appreciate you helping me out. Here's a cruise for you and your wife um, for, for, for helping me out with this. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, we've got another text. What is your best advice for a first time home buyer? So first advice um, would be to, to, to get it, get yourself a good agent. And it ver- very similar advice to um, to a seller. Don't necessarily work with relatives or friends. You you know at your workplace, I'm sure there's ten people that are licensed agents uh, that do it on the side. Uh, folks, find yourself the absolute best agent, the Andre Bustamante team. We've been in business for more than ten years. We'd love to help you. Uh, if it's not us, find yourself a good reputable team that does this full time. That has numerous people within the organization that can help you out at, on a moment's notice. Uh, uh, meet with them in their off in their office. Get pre-approved by a local reputable lender, and then begin to begin the process. Mm-hmm. Don't do what most people do, which is you know drive around, call the agent on the side, which happens to be the listing agent, and that person's going to work against you, not for you. Uh, and then they so they start looking at houses 
only to find out they're not approved or perhaps they could have gone a little higher. Maybe they should be looking lower. Uh, meet with the agent, meet them in the office, decide to work with them, uh, sign an exclusive buyer's agreement where that agent has your best interest at heart. Get pre-approved. And I love that pre-approval. And there are there are stronger pre-approval letters mm-hmm. and there are lesser pre-approval letters. Would you would you agree with that? Absolutely. Work with a work with a local lender. Uh, we work with FBC Mortgage here locally. We work with RP Funding. Uh, we work with Wells Fargo. Uh, w- find someone that you're comfortable with. Uh, what you don't want to do is go on Zillow and click on the right link and and, and oh you know mm-hmm. rates as low as two percent uh, from some guy out in North Carolina. That is a no no. Find someone local that you feel comfortable with all right andre bustamante show and don't forget guaranteed sale.com that's guaranteed sale.com free home evaluations in under 30 seconds and the office is 888-785-0440 andre with a y bustamante.com that's andre bustamante.com andre i'll see you this week a couple see of times you this week, brother. It's been and a pleasure, then next everybody. week i'll see you thank you very much y'all have a great day